Yo, what's going on guys? Chase the Bro here. And I just wanted to make a quick video informing all of you who don't already know about the amazing discovery the Dark Souls 3 community has made. They found a way for us to invade boss fights. So if you haven't heard about this yet, it's a glitch that was recently found and I'm pretty sure it's going to be patched soon because you get to invade while someone is fighting a boss, which is pretty OP. But yeah, I want to show you before it actually gets patched. So you're going to need a few things to do this. You're going to need a talisman. Any talisman will do. I suggest you buy the talisman from the merchant woman at Firelink Shrine because it's cheap and it only costs 10 faith. You're going to need the Mound Maker's Covenant. If you haven't found this, you're going to want to YouTube it or Google it because you're going to need it. You're going to need the Dark Sign, which you start with, so no big deal. You automatically have that. You're going to need a Red Eye Orb to invade, of course. And you're going to need your Estus Flasks. So... There's a specific order you have to do this in, and I'm going to explain it to you right now. It's not too complicated, so bear with me. You're going to invade first. As it says invading another world, like that, you hit the dark sign. It'll fail. It's supposed to. And then you wait for the second thing saying you're invading the world, and you heal with your heal aid, and then you S this flask quickly. If you do it correctly, you'll notice my souls got minus and dropped to zero because the dark sign activated, I guess. And when you enter the invading world, you'll be a mound maker, but you'll be able to enter the boss fights. When they go into the boss fight, you will not leave the world. You will stay. You'll see the boss's health bar at the bottom, and you can enter. Now, when we invade, we're going to look like any other mound maker. There's nothing really different about us. They have no idea that we can enter the boss fights. Once you've found the host, you're going to want to earn his trust. So go around helping him out, kill as many enemies as you can for him. He'll eventually trust you, hopefully. If he's a gullible guy, if not, he'll try to kill you. Now that I've helped him defeat all his enemies, he trusts me. Oh, he thinks this is goodbye. How funny. <laughs> oh, this is actually too fun, guys. You're going to enjoy this so much. It is annoying if they have the Pale Shade guy summoned because he attacks you no matter what, but whatever. I'm just going to quickly kill this NPC because he may prove to be annoying in the boss fight. Wow, should have been dead, but okay. Alright guys, ready to enter and scare the hell out of this guy? That's right man, I'm here. Look at him. He's stunned. He, has, he, he doesn't know what to do. Although, watch out though, the bosses can still hit you, like I said. It is annoying, but I'm pretty sure you can handle it. Just try to stay away from them. They'll do, they'll do the job for you. Just walk in when you have a prime opportunity and take them out. being a coward come back here come back here and fight like a man now's my opportunity yeah so that's how you do it guys if you enjoyed my video leave a like and subscribe i'll try to keep giving you quality content thanks so much guys peace out bros